So I was asking uh I was asking Laura a challenge with the time. Do you how about oh. Kiswahili time? How are you? How is the experience? Mm -hmm. Uh no, I, I lived uh, in Uganda two years. So ah, I don't have yes, yes. Yeah. yeah, I used to yeah. East Africa time. Yeah. Okay. Nice. At least at least you just have only trouble with negations. But now you are getting better with it, so mm. you have something to smile on and decide. Okay, good. Mm. Yeah. Um, that's good. Yeah, that's not means that I can accept. I just understand. Mm. <laughs> I mean, I mean it's difficult to adapt. But I mean, I understand. Yeah, the adaptation. Yeah, and then it's very logical. The day starts at seven. Yeah, that's logical. Like when the sun rises, and then that's the time when the, the day yeah. starts. That's mm. one. So I think <laughs> it's a bit logical, you know, instead of like applying for the modern culture. You know, twenty hours, four hours a day, and three hundred sixty-five, three hundred sixty-four days a year thing. I think it's more structural, but you know, yeah, it's okay. Day starts at seven. For me, I I prefer like looking at the clock, and then you just look at the opposite of the clock. Yeah. And also, I have also an advantage that the Japan, the time difference with this East Africa is six hours. So um, when I when I when I think about my country, it's it's almost coming to two a.m. That is actually the Swahili time. So for me, it's very easy. I mean, concerning with the time in my country too. So. Oh, so if it's seven, just coincidence. Yeah. 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 So if it's seven Kenyan time, you just look at Japanese. What is the Japanese time? And that is the time. The only thing yeah, you keep is the right. PM. Okay. <laughs> that's nice. Mm, yeah. Yeah, that's so. Mm. Mm. Yeah. I I think for for the clock, if you can be looking at the opposite of the clock, will be easy, Laura. Like, so if time is seven, the opposite of the clock is one. So one is the Kiswahili one. So you look at the opposite. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, if it's four, ten, six, twelve. So six in yeah. six in English is the twelve in Kiswahili. Uh, like that. That's mm -hmm. how I, for me, I learned how to do the. Yeah, time. it's it's good. The plus and minus sometimes can be, I don't know. I've never liked the plus. Yeah. And... <laughs> yeah, if it's more than 12, we need, just need to subtract. <laughs> if you are then 13, 14, ah, no, it's just supposed to subtract. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think something like that. Yeah. For me, not so structured. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you have noticed at this time of the year that, um, the sun will rise at around it will go actually now it's when it's like exactly now the seven almost seven six thirty mm. seven six four six thirty six five seven but when it gets to november the light comes out at five something five forty five by six by six thirty it looks like it's already uh eight but anyway, that doesn't mean, but but that one, because of still, it's still a, a small difference. Mm. I think that is why the East Africa uh, time, they start with the seven, in the morning going on. Mm. And then we have very many things with the time. Now, you, the way Kenny was saying, uh, they start at seven. So that means many other things will come in. 
<laughs> terms of time. Uh, people will say, let's meet at 10 and then they'll meet at 12. Like the respect of time. I don't know. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So it becomes, early. but again, also the other factors like traffic and all that. I, don't that. I think now, since you are, for you, you, you have been around, you have stayed in Uganda. Laura, I think now you are, I, I hope you're also adapting the time factor. Yeah, that's fine. But lucky, most, most of you, are, at the time is not, uh, there are peop uh, people of, uh, is it not the Europe, are the ones when it comes to time, they feel they are they are really they don't feel very happy with uh, our East Africa time how we handle time. Anyway, um, <clears throat> let us look at our work and see what we have. Three p.m. And I hope also you noted that time, the PM, we don't have PM and AM in Swahili. You either say the time of the day, Gioni, Mchana. Yeah, that is what you tell us. Okay, let's go ahead. Sasa ni sangapi, 3.00 PM. Mm. Uh, so, so. Oh, sorry. Satisa Nchana. Mm -hmm. Kenny, mm. Sasa Nisangapi. Uh, sa yeah, Satisa na Takika, Arobai ni Mchana. Yes. Sa Tisa na dakika arobaini mchana au or uh, kumi kashoro dakika isirini usiku yeah jioni mchana usiku usiku will be more from uh, Eight, nine, then Usiku, night. Oh. Mm. So this one will I be my. Usiku was from. Ah, oh, yeah. Sorry, I didn't. Uh... Did I? Oh, yeah. From 7 p.m. or 5 p.m. No, we don't yeah. have to change Usiku thing. That's the Usiku. yeah. That's one of the trends. So we don't have to change the just the number. We need to change nine nine p.m. Oh, this one is uh, p.m. Oh, it's a.m. Sorry, was it a.m.? I'm sorry. If oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm actually. I thought it was p.m. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, this one is not Mchana. Is a su uh, usiku by the she's right. It's usiku. Yeah. My sorry, head I was is... wrong. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I, I, I was written as PM. Yeah. PM. Can be Usiku. And if you, maybe you want to use the English time of, you can say Yasubu, anyway. But in Kiswahili, it will be more of Usiku. Uh -huh. yeah. So, Sakumi Kasoro. Dakika Ishirini Usiku. Ishirini. And if you want to use the English way of time, you can say asubui. No problem. Asoro kumi. Sakumi asoro. What do you say? Sakumi is 10. Asoro. What does it say? Apika shirini. 20, 20 minutes minus 10. Secret. 
Já estou a assistir sério. Ah. Yeah. 20 20 to 4. Ah, uh, não. 20 to 4. Kumi, remember the anti the clock. Tisa. Asoro ka. Tisa is 9, right? No, I I'm, I'm clear. I'm just asking you what's the kasoro? Oh. Ah. So like minus. Like your kumi kasoro Kumi yeah. is like sak sakumi is like 10, 10, right? Yes. Sakumi is 10. And then kasoro is minus. Because like mm -hmm. dakika shireni usiku. Dakika shireni is like 20. Mm. So 20 minutes, let's say. 20 so minutes. Yeah. Kasoro, like, kasoro means like minus. 10 minus yes. 20, right? If I understand correctly, I don't know. I Sorry, I didn't study that, that part. So I, don't, mm. I get it. Yeah, like minutes remaining to the time which they are saying. So I think. Sakumi. Just and Sakumi is four, right? Sakumi is four. No, no, I, I get it. That part, yeah. as I said. Yeah, you said 10, so that's why I was. <laughs> 20, 20 to 4. 20 to 4. Sa tisa lakita is hidden in a tattoo channel. Lakita is hidden in a tattoo channel. Nice. And, and this one will be just like that. Um, when it's when it's after half past, that is when you can say. Kasoro. Mm. And when it's maybe, okay, on top of the time, and then when it's 15, Robo, Nusu, mm -hmm. half pass, and then now you start Kasoro if you want, or you can just say Dakika. Mm. Again, can you, you take us to the other one? Uh, Sakumi <laughs> na robo, Joni. Sakumi na, na robo, Joni. Yeah. Or, how? Mm, so, uh, like uh, 15. Yeah. Sakumi. Na uh, kumi na what five? Kumi na tano. Yes, kumi na tano. Oh, sorry. So kumi na dakika, kumi na tano. Oh, kumi na tano. Sorry, kumi na dakika tano. Oh, we don't need dakika. We just say kumi na tano. Ta kumi na dakika, kumi na tano. Dakika tano. It's 15, ah, right? Kumi natakika. Ah, okay, good. Okay. Kumi natakika. Sa kumi na... Kumi natakika. Kumi natan. Ah, okay. Okay. Ya da... Sa kumi na... Sa kumi or you can even say or you can even say sa kumi na nambili kamili kamili is like on the dot o'clock yeah Yeah. 
This one, 8.30. Saa sa mbili Mbili na Nusu Asubuhi Na nusu asubuhi Or saa mbili na dakika telatini If you want to just do it The good thing if you are you are okay with the numbers and you are unable to remember Kasoro, Nusu, and all that, you can just say in a dakika and then you say the number. Hmm. Yeah. Actually, Kenyans will even tend to use to say uh Sambili na thirty. <laughs> Someone will just say the eight, and then the the other number they just say the English. Uh, great. You can be like Sambili na dakika thirty, or na thirty. That's a that is a Kenyan way. <laughs> True. Yeah, thirty is easier than thirteen. Thirteen is like. Uh... Yeah, but you see, you know, you already know the 30, so you have to know the telatini <laughs> for now. Yeah, it's long, yeah. One day, I was, uh, I, I always have these students who want to learn Sheng, and then I'm like, I will teach, I'll teach you a little bit just to know how people will say, but I'll emphasize on the basic part of Kiswahili. Because anyway, Sheng is just breaking the rules. You know how to play around with the with the words, mixing up and all that. So first, it's not always good when you start with that end of mixing, and now you want to mm. go to this other end. Mm -hmm. One forty-five. kasorobo mchana. Sanane kasorobo. Sana That, uh, let us finish this. I remind, I tell you something also different. How Kiswahili time is written sometimes. The way Kenyans write Kiswahili time, uh, Kiswahili time is different from how Tanzanians do it. I think also that is good to know. But let's finish first. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, uh, sa nane? Is it nane? Nne, sorry. Sa nne na hamsini asubush. Na na hamsini na dakika hamsini. Ah, sorry, dakika hamsini. Mm. Or how? Sa. Hmm. Like uh, ten minutes to ten, ten minutes to eleven. Yeah. So, so we say eleven five. So that's Tano. Mm -hmm. uh, is it uh, Kas Kasorobo or Kasoro? Yeah. Kasoro, Kasoro. Kasorobo is forty five. Ah, uh, Kasorobo is forty five. So Kasoro. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kasorobo is forty five. Sorry. Kasorobo is the forty five. Okay. Kasoro is uh, minus. Minus, yeah. Mm, kasoro kumi. Kasoro dakika kumi. Sorry. Kasoro dakika kumi. Yeah, yeah but uh, in, in real life, by the way, you can just say kasoro kumi. Uh, satano kasoro kumi. Someone already knows the context is on time. Dakika. Kasoro is on dakika. So you can use that in real life. But... It's also good to know the long. 
Yeah, I was. Uh, okay. Uh, oh no, go ahead, go ahead, please. I was uh talking about. I was trying to tell you, like, also you can check. There is also a a, a different way of telling Kiswahili time. Tanzanians will tend to write this. You see the way this is it? Like they write the time the way Kiswahili time is. So instead of this, we'll have a subui. Okay, let me write somewhere so that you can see. So if you go and find something like this, don't be surprised, don't be surprised. So I'm writing this. And then I'll say uh, 145. This is actually like a, a Kiswahili way of writing time. Do you see what I've written? 145 June. Uh, it will be 137 in English. Quarter to eight. Samoja. This is like Samoja. They have written, yeah. They have written the way Kiswahili you say. Yeah. Samoja. So sa. But one forty five is supposed to be Michana, no? We say like June even. Like you see the way we are counting in this, in our head we are saying English, like the, this mm. one. Okay, let mm. me use, this is 1.45 p.m., right? Mm, mm. Like it's afternoon. Because mm. it's a uh, sasaba. Mm. But this one became the samoja, moja, like directly the way, we, the way you'll say in Kiswahili. Uh, which means uh, already uh, seven. Already is yes, uh, Samoja seven in English. Yeah. So you you put because uh, because you said seven, so you put Johnny. Yes, seven p.m. Seven forty-five p.m. So, this, so so people understand this one like seven forty-five in the yes. evening. Yes, yes. I mean, uh, you might I yeah Tanzania. I uh, you can you they write you can find uh such way of saying time mm. like the, the written one so so this means like uh yeah this is not the english time it's already 145 so people understand oh it's 7 45 and then evening yeah. yeah but you see there's gioni so it's already telling you it's kiswahili so, so mm. we don't say it uh, machana yeah i understand gioni or asubui Maybe because it's more these these like the Kiswahili way of saying it, but you see, uh, because of time, the standard time now, this is how we, we do it. This is the scientific one, the standard one, and then this is the what do you call it? Uh, like the okay, I'm trying to get the name. Not if something is not scientific, what is it? Uh, okay, can't remember, but you you I hope you are getting what I mean. Like now that is the Kiswahili way without the scientific uh influence. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Just to not, you know, you might go and then find <laughs> it's written on the wall. Maybe they are say uh, someone is saying, okay, check out is 145 Gioni. And then you're like, what is this? You miss and it, at least do, it's good to know those dynamics where you can find an environment with that. Mm. Oh, okay. Explain the following vocabularies. I guess these ones, uh, we have gone through them as you are doing. Robo is? Class 15. Yeah, quarter. Quarter. Uh, yep, my spellings are right. Quarter. Yeah. Casorobo is? Oh, 45. 
yeah, the five or uh, quarter. Quarter two. Five, yeah. Nusu. Half past. Sorry? Half past. Yeah, half. Yeah, half past. Half past and also can be and also can mean half half to mean uh, half to mean uh, like the half of a, of a piece of something. Kamili. O'clock. 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 Yes. Casserole yeah. so, is minus. Eh? minus. Mm. Mm. Sorry. Sorry. I do something behind. Okay. Second. Uh, this one is just second. Is it second? Second. Yes, second. second. And Mid. Dakika is? Mm. Yeah. Mid. 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 <laughs> okay, let's translate this. I will go home at 2.35 p.m. Mm. I... Can I try? So, mm -hmm. um, you need to end the burn. I don't know what, but I just write it sa nane serasteni. Sa nane. Did you write the I will go home? Uh, yeah, Nita in the Nubani. Nubani. Sanan in the Dakika the Latini, Natano, Chana, or Satisa, Kasoro, Dakika, Shri Natan. Chana. Mm -hmm. The other one, mm -hmm. other one, mm -hmm. thirty plus five. Okay, I'm going say thirty plus five. I don't know. Sorry. Finish or twenty five minus three. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, what is the right? Am I am I am I correct? Nita and the Yumban. Yumban. Yeah, you are correct. So, but do we have like word saying like at? You just say Nita and the Yumban is a. Sa is like at. This case. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ah, uh, I see. I don't remember how to say finish. Maliza. Maliza. Naisa Kusoma. Takumi Kamili. Mchana. Mchana. Jioni mm. mchana. Okay. It's like the border, no? Sorry? I have that G is from five to six. More or less. Sorry? We are saying? What five to six? Gioni. Oh, yeah. I think basically, don't worry about the specific, like, ah, this is from three to, mostly this is just to specify when is PM and when it's AM. So just not to confuse someone, tell someone, let's meet at seven, and then they want to meet you, they assume morning, yet you meant in the evening. So that is just the basic part of that. Mm. 
he drove for 45 minutes so to drive aliendesha aliendesha for kwa and then he said dakika Yeah. Actually, we should start with Jana Aliendesha. Jana. Jana. Mm. Jana. Jana. Jana comes first. Jana Aliendesha. Yesterday, she drove, she drove for... Jana Aliendesha for a dakika. Arobaini Natano. Then we have another one there. Every minute has 60 seconds. Dakika, Anna, Sitini, Secondi. I don't know how you say every. Kila. Kila. Kila, Dakika, Nina, Sitini. Secondi. Yeah. In a sec in a sitini. Kiswaili, mm -hmm. you see the way you say two books in English, Kiswaili will be the opposite. Uh Kiswaili will be books two. Books two. Yeah. So when you like you start with the yeah. and then in, in a sitini. Mm. The I for noun class for because it's the kika, it's not a person. Ah, okay. In a second, uh, Sitini. Mm. Nice. The last one. Sorry, Daniel. Yes. Ah, uh, oh, okay. Or maybe you can finish and then get back. Uh, okay. last one. Mm -hmm. Uh, she finished work. Uh, Ari. Ari, Arisha. Um, Ari, how do I say? Arisha. Ali Maliza. Hmm? Ali Maliza. Maliza. Ali, Ali, Ali Maliza. Maliza to do work. Ali, Ali Maliza. Kazi. Oh, Kazi, we don't have to then. Yeah, yeah. Ali, Ali Maliza. Ali Maliza Kazi Sa. Uh, nane. Kamiri. Kamiri, yes. Mm. Yeah. Um, okay. Ari Marisa Kazi Sa Nane Kamiri. Mm. Oh, so sorry. Um, uh, Jana's question. Could you, could you repeat the answer, please? The okay. number three. Jana. Jana. Ari. Jana. Uh. Jana Aliendesha. Uh -huh. Jana Aliendesha. Dakika. Arobain Natan. Oh, okay. Mm. Uh -huh. Dakika Arobain Natan. Okay. Uh -huh. Almost thrown away. We meet. For the mm. next session now for listening. Mm. Okay. Oh. <laughs>
Nani ataanza kustart? <coughs> Yo okay. start. Okay. Uh, how about it says Johnny, Gina Languni Laura, Nina Toka with Hispania, Nina Umri Wamiaka Telatini Natano, Nina Penda, Paka, Rameni, Kulala, Nakwenda, Kwa Matembesi, Katika Sili. Si pendi baridi e yumatatu. Vasa si wangu walikuwa walimu. Sasa wamesta fu. Kwa sababu wana undri wamiaka sabini. Dan? What did you understand? Eh? What did you understand? Nice, good job. I I had everything, but I'll not first say. I'll I'll i let Kenny first say what he had, and then maybe I had what. He, yeah. What did you hear, Kenny? Mm -hmm. uh, mm. I don't know how much I understand. Maybe the at the beginning, maybe I understand some. Mm -hmm. Laura from from Spain. Mm -hmm. The introduction. I don't know. Uh, thirty five years old. And uh, she, I don't know. I didn't hear her look well. But she, she told us about what she like and what she do doesn't like. Mm -hmm. And. Um, well, the rest, I, sorry, I, I was, lost my mind, maybe, I didn't, yeah, yeah. Yeah. maybe, maybe, I'm, 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 I'm appreciated if, if it's repeated, so like, maybe I can pick more. Okay, yeah, no, sure. That's my, that's my reasoning, sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm not bad. No, it's good, it's good for the start, it's good. Remember, <laughs> remember you're not, uh, you're not 10 months or 12 months of doing Kiswahili, and you can hear something, so that's, good the problem could be if you didn't hear anything but you had so yes she said she likes cats right Laura? Mm -hmm. and appenda paka she'll read again i'm just trying to say what i've had too she also said uh, she said something about to sleep yes you, okay is it you like or you don't like I don't know. That I like it. Oh, okay. And oh, okay. And also to visit. Is it visiting or traveling? Something like that. I don't know. Yeah. So that one I was looking it in Google Translate because I wanted to say that I like to go for walks in nature. So what I got was Kuenda Kwamatembesi Katika Asidi. Uh to 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 go for a walk today sorry in nature in can you type for me please oh okay yeah so yeah that one should be something like uh nature nature link a minute I have this dictionary. Actually, I can suggest you guys to. Oh, I can see it with the. Okay. It's a good dictionary. If you before you leave, you can grab one to help you with your soil. I'll send a screenshot. Yeah, I have a picture of it. Thank you. I think I have one at home. <laughs> Oh, nice. Yeah, this is like the best dictionary for like words written in Eng English, but explaining this way, but it's a good one. Just one minute, I'm oh. for the best way of saying how. 
uh, uh, there's that sentence, I will help you correct, but uh, something else, you also said something to do with Jumatatu on Monday. Yes, Sipendi Daridi E Jumatatu. Ah, okay. Mm. Yeah, and then you also mentioned about your parents retiring from work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, generally, I think that is what I had. Okay. So maybe now you can read oh. slowly for us so that we can... What does it mean? Excuse me. What does it mean? Sipendi part. Sipendi jumatat pariji. What does that mean? Oh. Hapendi. Okay. She doesn't... Sipendi jumatatu and also baridi. She meant uh ah, she doesn't like Monday. Yes. Ah, yes. yeah. uh, okay. Cold. I don't know if yeah, and cold. Ah, uh, yeah, I got it. Yeah, yeah, it's like blue Monday, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> nobody likes Monday. Yeah, nobody likes Mondays. And and cold, yeah, it's cold these days. Okay, sawa sawa. So. Okay, now you can read for us and also check. Again, but slowly. Mm. And then now Ken will be listening and then translating slowly as you go. I think it's also a good way of improving the vocabulary and listening. Pavarisa Yoni, Gina Langu Nilaura, Nina Toka Uispania, Nina Umri. Wa miaka teladini natano. Nina penda paka ulala. Na kwenda wa matembesi katika asilo. Si pendi varidi e jomatato. Wasa si wangu. Walikuwa walimu. Sasa. Wamestafu kwa sabu babu wana umri wa miaka sabini. Mm -hmm. Can you what do you hear? Yeah, I, no, I, I think I... I don't know. It's, I think it's the same. Um, or you can ask I, question on the part which you didn't maybe get. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe because of my limited vocabulary. I think I clearly understand the word itself, but I don't understand the meaning. So it's okay. Fine. Perhaps I. Yeah, I don't there know, are I, things that I have to look in the dictionary because I didn't know what to say, how to say them. And with the vocabulary yeah. that I had, I couldn't yeah. say anything. In time. That I wanted to say. So, I think I, I totally slipped off about the parents or like family members part. Mm. But I understand mm. like uh, maybe cats and uh, yeah, talking about like body I, 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 I can hear you. So I, I understand like Sipendi part. So I think I, I, I understand a bit more than before, than, than the first time. Mm. Okay. Also, uh, she also mentioned about uh, she likes having a walk in the uh, like in nature, and uh, I think uh, Kiswahili will be more of a, you see, when you say nature, it will be more of a silly, and a silly is too general. But uh, I don't know what you are you trying to are you talking about maybe the forest the trees something like that I don't know yeah or if if you have a word for hiking I can also say that it's just mm. that I didn't know okay mostly if it's hiking we'll say kupanda milima to climb mountains <laughs> milima or mabonde panda oh. yeah that's mm. that. Let me type. I'm typing. Yeah. 
Mm, that will be more uh, when when someone uh, says I love hacking, there is that concept of climbing tree uh, mountains and all that. Okay. But I'm also trying to look. Uh, maybe you can be more of a, you can add it more like Panda Milima, maybe Kutembea. Uh, Msitu, kutembea msituni. Like msitu, msitu is forest. I'm typing. Eh? I hope you can see what I'm. Uh, whatever. Yeah. I'm typing. Maybe I can share my screen. I forgot I have a whiteboard. Okay, can you? Yeah. That will bring that more that more of that concept into detail in a conceptual form than the the exact in, in word. Situni is in the forest. Yeah. In situ forest in situni in the she also talked about Kustafu. Kustafu means retire. Right, right. You mentioned about your parents uh, retired. Yes. From a staff. Mm -hmm. Who staff is to retire. So to retire. So that now you can make a verb from that. There is that part of your sentence. You also mentioned katika, something with katika. Can you read it again? I think I, I felt like there's something we need to correct there. Yeah. Kwenda kwa matembesi katika asili. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, that is where. Uh, so, katika misi, yeah, msi tu, msi tu, maybe, and you can also say napia kupanda. Kupanda milima. And maybe, yeah. I think that will bring more the nature thing, uh, the more concept of the nature. Okay. Kenny, are we okay up there? Yeah, I'm fine. Now it's your turn. Me. Deal. Ah, oh, but me, mine is also, I think it's ninety percent is from just Google translation. So I don't know, because mm -hmm. it's very difficult for me to construct sentences. But I like basic ones I can. So, but otherwise, just the reading from the translation is that okay? And maybe we can start. Mm -hmm. right. Okay. Ah, uh, I'm a jumbo. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Jina Jina Rangu ni Kenny. Nina toka Japan. Uh, Nina Muri wa Miyaka Teraseni Natano. Nina familia ya watoto wanne baba mama na kaka yang mkubwa. Baba yang ana muri wa Miyaka sitini na saba. Wakati mama yangu an, ana mudi wa miaka sitini na tatu. Ndugu, ndugu yangu ana mudi wa miaka miwili rio mimi. Ninapenda kucheza mpira wa migu na kuta, kutazam, kutazama fila, filam. Sipendi. Kucheza tenisi na kuishi katika mji. That's all. <laughs> Good job. We played that uh, nice with the numbers. Oh, also talking about numbers. Okay, we'll go through your numbers and then we also say uh, she also mentioned numbers, Laura, too, on edge there. So we'll also mention them. Yeah. 
Okay, what did you hear I, if I, I say what I had? Uh, I hear that he's Kenny from Japan, 35 years. I think that he said that he has a father, a mother, a brother, and a child. Yeah. Uh, brothers. Kaka, no? Kaka. Oh, Kaka is a brother. Kaka is a... Hmm. Uh, and, it, it, and, it, is... and it's not 30, it's not 65, but 35. Right, Kenny, right? Yeah, no. He's hmm. 35. 67, the father. Hmm. 63, the mother. And the other person I didn't get. Uh, he liked to play something, no? Cuchesa, but I don't know what. Mm -hmm. And he, I think he doesn't like tennis. And Katika something. Uh, so he said he liked playing Pira Wamigu, which he meant football. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mpira is ball? Mm? Mpira is ball? Yes, it's ball. Mm. And that's how you say football? Mm? Mpira? You say football like that? Wow. Yeah, yeah, mostly we just say Mpira. Because it's, uh, okay. the football is a common game. So people just say Mpira. And then, then they are specifying other forms of ball games. Now that is when they specify, they just say Pira. But Pira or Migu, yes, it's football. Migu is it's the legs, actually. <laughs> if I was translate directly. Um, he also mentioned that, uh, I think that sentence which you are saying something, he was talking about his brother who is two years older than him. Right? Oh, and that is what it meant. Yeah, that I cannot understand. Mm. Yeah, I, I even don't understand this sentence, but yes, that is <laughs> what I said. Next time you should use the sentences you, you have. Just say, Kaka yangu, Ana miaka. Just say the simple sentence which you already know. Uh, but uh, okay. yeah, the sentence said, what did it say? My brother, Kaka? Yeah, Kaka is yeah two years older than me. Like, what was the sentence in Chisoli? Ndugu yang ana muri wa miyaka miwiri kuriko mimi. Kuriko mimi. Yeah. Ndugu yang. Ndugu. Ndugu is uh, actually Ndugu. When we use Ndugu, it means it can be either brother or sister. Uh -huh. oh, sibling. But, yeah, sibling. But uh, because we already we had already mentioned about Kaka, so that's what we assumed. Yangu ana umri wa miaka muili kuliko mimi. Kuliko is more. Kuliko. Mm. More than me. Mm. More than Kuliko. That's why it's two years older. Where's like two? Miwili, Miwili. Miwili means two. Two. Oh, yes. Uh, because of Miyaka. Uh, Yes, when we come to agreement of noun class, two will change mm. to will, W I L I. Ah, I see, I see. Change the number. So, yeah, noun class. So, get used to like mbili. Mbili, mm. sometimes you can see pili, something. Mm. And then, and then willy. Mm, I get it. Mm. Yeah. Because of the noun class. But for now, just say in mm. Learn how to say in first. Don't worry about that one. That one, it's easy to fix. 
to just mm. uh, but okay. i think uh, i don't not about thinking but it's only two whereby it will sound differently when you are talking about numbers even if you are conjugating the others are the same tatu ne okay I think when you looked at when you are learning about numbers, you also saw the ordinal numbers, second, pili. Mm, mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But there, when we look at that, uh, Esther told me that what you will conjugate with the noun is what goes in front, no? That with living things, was wa pili, but mm -hmm. then if it was something else, it will change the wa. Or it changed yeah. the pili too. Yeah, the, 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 that dash where the a is. Uh, sorry, mm -hmm. uh, here, uh, there's a, like this. Yeah. To me, in second. Yeah, so uh -huh. in the book, mm -hmm. we have wa pili because we are learning everything for people. Yes. But then, but you change. Kitabu mm, cha pili. Okay, you keep the pili. Mm. Like that. So it will change with the noun class. So that's why it's a. Ah. Like in this case, I'm talking of a book. Kitabu, kv. You put ch. Yeah. Work can go with the person, can go with the trees, can go with the, all that. Mm -hmm. Anything else we missed uh, in your insha? We said it's called insha, right? Essay, essay, insha. Uh. Maybe you can read for us again for the last time. We listen again. Now maybe we have the, the new words. See. So. So um, hamajambo. Jinarangu ni keni ina toka Japan. Ina muri wa miaka therathini na tano. Nina familia ya watoto wa, wa, wane, baba, mama, na kaka yang mkubwa. Baba yang ana umuli wa miaka sitini na saba. Wakati mama yang ana umuli wa miaka Sitini na tatu. Ndugu yang ana umuri wa, wa miaka miwili kuliko mimi. Ninapenda kucheza mpila wa migu na kutazama filame. Sipendi kucheza tenisi na kuishi Katika mji. Ah, oh, and he also said, Upendi kucheza mpira wa tennis tennis ball and, and uh, to stay, uh, to live in the city or town. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Unapenda yeah. kuishi oh, oh. kijijini? <laughs> Kushi what? Kijijini. Kijijini. Mm. What does it mean? Kijijini. Village. Ah, deal. Mm. Also, I only lived two years in my life in a village. Ah, only. Mm. Only two years. I grew up, grown up in Tokyo, born and raised. And the uh, I've studied in London and the currently in Nairobi. But I, I lived in two years in the village in Uganda. So that's the only time when mm -hmm. I had a chance to live in the village. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> okay. Yeah, village life can be sweet. I agree with you. Um, it's a good retirement plan, staying in the village. <laughs> Mm -hmm. oh, but now where we Jay Laura village experience Kijiji mm, no me Kijiji na Msitu Oh Msitu the forest Geo uh... Tattoo. What did you say? Year? Miaka. Miaka. Miaka tattoo. Miaka tattoo. Miaka ne. Oh. Mm, I guess. But Msitu um, is also like a village. Anyway, but uh, I think. Two uh, more camps. They were camps in the forest. Not. They were camps. Years. Not. Not. Live like place people are living. Uh, yeah, well, researchers, but not you know, fifteen people, twenty people, a lot more. So. Mm. Nice. You were in the process of making a village. Uh, well, I should <laughs> never get that far, but. <laughs> I think I think that's how village started. People moved out away from many people, started somewhere and then camped and they stayed. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I still have a touch. Jay Kati uh Mji na Msitu. Ulipenda nini? Je ulipenda msitu ama mji? Wewe. Uh, eh, sasa Nina Penda Nairobi. Eh, I'm fine here. I don't know. To say that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I'm glad you also got the question. Nice. Uh, so um, I'm seeing our time is almost like kicking. There's a document which I've shared with you. Now the next, when we come in, we'll do time. There's something I've shared with you for time. Just do the time part. Don't do, uh, that is page one, I think. Let me check. Yeah, just page one. Okay. Since you have not yet done the year, uh, months and days of the week, let's just do. Let us stick on the time, and then now we come. We do to we answer them, and then yeah, we see. I give you the listening part. Sawa Kenny. Yes, sawa sawa. Okay, so. Give yourself two minutes break and then you do your work in five minutes and then we log in. We, we go together. Okay, which 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 part? Uh, like all yeah, of the only page three. one. Page one. Hmm? One just page, page, but a uh, uh, uh just just one. Hmm? There's the three questions. Question yeah, one, question two, question. question three, yes. Ah, okay. Mm. Just that. Don't, that don't. Mm. Right. Okay. Don't worry. Don't look up. Please, uh, just try to, you know, just try to see mm -hmm. how far you can answer. No problem. Nobody is going to punish you for not answering or not remembering. Just a way of just seeing how, what you grasp in the other class. So. Okay. That was all. Oh. <laughs> Nani at a answer full start. <clears throat> Do okay. Okay. Uh, 
Habari sas Johnny, jina langu ni Laura, ninatoka Uispania. Nina umri wa miaka 35. Ninapenda paka rameni kulala na kwenda kwa matembezi katika sili. Sipendi baridi e jumatatu. Wasasi wangu walikuwa walimu. Sasa wamestafu kwa sababu wanaundi wa miaka sabini. Dan? What did you understand? Eh? What did you understand? Nice. Good job. I I had everything, but I'll not first say. I'll I'll I let Kenny first say what he had, and then maybe I had what. He, yeah. What did you hear, Ken? Mm -hmm. uh, mm, I I don't know how much I understand. Maybe there. At the beginning, maybe I understand some. Mm -hmm. Laura from from Spain. Mm -hmm. The introduction. I don't know. Uh, Thirty-five years old, and uh, she. I don't know. I didn't hear well. What she, she told us about what she like and what she doesn't like. Mm -hmm. And um, well, the rest. I sorry. I, I was lost my mind. Maybe I didn't. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe I'm, 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 I'm very appreciated if you, if it's repeated. Like maybe I can pick more. Okay. Yeah. No, sure. That's my, that's my reasoning. Sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm not bad. No, it's good. good. It's good for the start. It's good. Remember, <laughs> remember, you are not, uh, you are not ten months or twelve months of doing Kiswahili, and you can hear something. So that's good. The problem could be if you didn't hear anything. But you had so yes, she said she likes cats, right? Laura? And a pen a packer, she'll read again. I'm just trying to say what I've had too. She also said uh, she said something about to sleep. Yes. You, okay. Is it you like or you don't like? I don't know. That I like to sleep. Oh, okay. And oh, okay. And also to visit, is it visiting or traveling? Something like that. I don't know. Yeah. So that one, I was looking it in Google Translate because I wanted to say that I like to go for walks in nature. So what I got was Kuenda Kuamatembesi Katika Asidi. Uh, to 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 go for a walk today. Sorry. In nature. In can you type for me, please? Oh, okay. Yeah. So yeah, that one should be something like uh, nature. Nature. Look a minute. I have this dictionary. Actually, I can suggest you guys to. Oh, I can <laughs> see it with the. Okay. It's a good dictionary. Can you, if you, before you leave, you can grab one to help you with your society. I'll send a screenshot, yeah, I have... a picture of it. Thank you. I think I have one at home. <laughs> Oh, nice. Yeah, this is like the best dictionary for like words written in English, but explaining this way, but it's a good one. Just one minute, I'm oh. for the best way of saying how. Uh, 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 there's that sentence, I will help you correct, but uh, something else, you also said something to do with Jumatatu on Monday. Yes, sipendi baridi e jumatatu. 
okay. Mm. Yeah, and then you also mentioned about your parents retiring from work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, generally, I think that is what I had. Okay. So maybe now you can read oh. slowly for us so that we can... What does it mean? Excuse me. What does it mean? Sipendi part. Sipendi jumata tse. Bariji. What does that mean? Oh. Hapendi. Okay. She doesn't... Sipendi jumata jumata tu. And also baridi. She meant... Uh, ah, she doesn't like Monday. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Ah, okay. Cold. I don't know if yeah, and cold. <laughs> uh, yeah, I got it. Yeah, yeah, it's like Blue Monday, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> nobody likes Monday. Yeah, nobody likes Mondays. And and cold. Yeah, it's cold these days. Okay. Sawa sawa. So. Okay, now you can read for us in those uh sure. again but slowly. Mm. And then now Ken will be listening and then translating slowly as you go. I think it's also a good way of improving the vocabulary. Listening. Pavari Sayoni, Gina Langu Nilaura, Nina Toka Uispania, Nina Umri Wa Miaka. Teladini Natano, Nina Penda Paka, Ulala, Nakwenda Wa Matembesi, Katika Asilo, Sipendi Varidi, E Yomatato, Wasa Siwangu, Walikuwa, Walimu, Sasa, Wames. Tafu, Kwasabu, Babu, Wana Umri, Wamiaka, Sabini. Mm-hmm. Can anybody do here? Huh? Yeah, I, no, I, I think I, I don't know. It's, I think it's the same. Um, or you can ask I, a question on the part which you didn't maybe get. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe because of my limited vocabulary. I think I clearly understand the word itself, but I don't understand the meaning. So it's okay. Fine. Perhaps I. Yeah, I there don't are know, things I, that I have to look in the dictionary because I didn't know what to say, how to say them, and with the vocabulary yeah. that I had, I couldn't yeah. say anything that I wanted to say. Oh. So. I think I, I totally stepped off about the parents or like family members part. Mm. But I understand mm. like uh, maybe cats and uh, yeah, talking about like body D, Jumatatsu, I, 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 I can hear you. So I, I understand like Sipendi part. So I think I, I, I understand a bit more than before, than, than the first time. Mm. Okay. Also, uh, she also mentioned about uh, she likes having a walk in the uh, like in nature, and uh, I think uh, Kiswahili will be more of a, you see, when you say nature, it will be more of a silly, and a silly is too general. But uh, I don't know what you are you trying to are you talking about maybe the forest the tree something like that I don't know yeah or if if you have a word for hiking I can also say that mm. that's what I didn't know okay mostly if it's hiking we'll say kupanda milima to climb mountain <laughs> milima or mabonde kupanda oh. yeah that mm. that. Let me type. I'm typing. Yeah. And that will be more. Uh, when when someone uh, says I love working, there is that concept of climbing tree uh, mountains and all that. Oh. I'm also trying to look. Uh, 
maybe you can be more of a, you can add it more like kupanda milima maybe kutembea msitu uh, kutembea msituni like msitu msitu is forest i'm typing eh? i hope you can see what i'm uh, whatever mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. I think. Uh, I can share my screen. I forgot I have a whiteboard. Um, yeah. 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 That will bring that more that more of that concept into detail in a conceptual form than the the exact in, in word. Situni is in the photos. Yeah, Msitu forest, Msitu in there. She also talked about Kustafu. Kustafu means retire. Right, right? You mentioned about your parents uh, retired. Yes. Yeah. Kustafu. Mm -hmm. Kustafu is to retire. So to retire so that now you can make a verb from that there is that part of your sentence you also mentioned katika something with katika can you read it again i think i i felt like there's something we need to correct there yeah kwenda kwa matembesi katika asili Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, that is where. Uh, so, Katika Misi, yeah, Msi2, Msi2, maybe, and you can also say Napia, Kupanda, Kupanda Milima, and maybe, yeah. I think that will bring more the nature thing. Uh, the more concept of the nature. Okay. Kenny, are we okay up there? Yeah, I'm fine. Now it's your turn. Me. Dio. Dio. Ah, but me, mine is also, I think it's 90% is from just Google translation. So I don't know. Because it's very difficult for me to construct sentences, but I like the basic ones I can. So, but otherwise, just the reading from the translation. Is that okay? And maybe we can start. Mm -hmm. right. Okay. Uh, I'm a jumbo. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Uh, Jina Jinarangu ni Kenny. Nina toka Japan. Uh, Nina. Muri wa miaka terasini natano. Nina familia ya watoto wane baba mama na kaka yang mkubwa. Baba yang ana muri wa miaka sitini na saba. Wakati mama yang an, ana muri wa miaka sitini na Tatu, ndugu, ndugu yang ana muri wa miaka miwili kulio mimi. Ninapenda kucheza mpira wa migu na kuta, kutazam, kutazama fila, filam. Sipendi kucheza tenisi na kuishi katika mji. That's all. Nice. Good job. We played that uh, uh, nice with the numbers. Oh, also uh, talking about numbers. Okay, we'll go through your numbers and then we also say uh, she also mentioned numbers, Laura, too, on edge there. So we we'll also mentioned them. Yeah. Okay. What did you hear uh, before I, I say what I heard? Yeah. Um... I hear that he's Kenny from Japan, 35 years. I think that he said that he has a father and mother, a brother, and 
child yeah. uh, brothers kaka no kaka oh. kaka is a brother kaka is a... Hmm. Uh, and, it, and, it, and it's not 30 it's not 65 but 35 right kenny right yeah no hmm. he's 55 67 the father hmm. 63 the mother hmm. and the other person i didn't get uh, he like to play something, no? Cuchesa, but I don't know what. Mm -hmm. And he, I think he doesn't like tennis. And Katika something. Uh, so he said he like playing Pira Wamegu, which he meant football. Um, Pira is ball? Yes, it's ball. And that's how you say football? Hmm? Pira? You say football like that? Wow. Yeah, yeah. Mostly we just say Pira. Because it's, uh, okay. the football is a common game. So people just say Pira. And then, then they are specifying other forms of ball games. Now that is when they specify, they just say Pira. But Mpira wa Migu, yes, it's football. Migu is it's the legs, actually. <laughs> if I was translate directly. Um, he also mentioned that, uh, I think that sentence which you are saying something, he was talking about his brother who is two years older than him. Oh. Right? That is what he meant. Yeah, that I cannot understand. Mm. Yeah, I, I even don't understand this sentence, but yes, that is what I said. <laughs> Next time you should use the sentences you, you have. Just say, Kaka yangu, ana miaka. Just say the simple sentence which you already know. Uh, but uh, okay. yeah, the sentence said, what did it say? My brother, Kaka? Yeah, Kaka is yeah two years older than me. Like what was the sentence in Chisoli? Ndugu yang ana. Muriwa Miyaka Miwiri Kuriko Mimi. Kuriko Mimi. Yeah, Dugu Yang. Dugu. Dugu is uh, actually Dugu. When we use Dugu, it means it can be either brother or sister. Uh -huh. Oh, sibling. But, yeah, sibling. But uh, because we already we had already mentioned about Kaka, so that's what we assumed. Yangu ana umri wa miaka muili kuliko mimi. Kuliko is more. Kuliko. Mm. More than me. Kuliko. Mm. More than kuliko. That's why it's two years old. Where's like two? Miwili, miwili. Miwili oh, means two. Two. Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, because not, of Miyaka. Uh, yeah. Yes. When we come to agreement of noun class, two will change mm. to Willy, W I L I. Uh -huh. I see, I see. Change so, the number. So yeah, now in class. So get used to like Mbili. Mbili. Mm. Sometimes you can see Pili something. Mm. And then and then Willy. Mm, I get it. Mm. Yeah. Because of the noun class. But for now, just say Mbili. Mm. Learn how to say Mbili first. Don't worry about that one. That one. It's easy to fix, uh, to just mm. change it. Yeah. But I okay. think, uh, I don't, not about thinking, but it's only two whereby it will sound differently when you are talking about numbers, even if you are conjugating. The others are the same. Tattoo, mm. 
Okay. I think when you looked at, when you are learning about numbers, you also saw the ordinal numbers, second, pili. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But there, when we look at that, uh, Esther told me that what you will conjugate with the uh, noun is what goes in front, no? That with living things was wa pili, but mm -hmm. then if it was something else, it will change the wa. Or it changed yeah. the pili too. Yeah, the, 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 that dash where the a ah is. Uh, sorry, mm -hmm. uh, here, uh, there's uh, like this. Yeah. To mean second. Yeah, so oh. in the book, mm -hmm. we have wapili because we are learning everything for people. Yes. But then, what you change? Mm, you kitabu cha pili. Keep the mm. Like that. So it will change with the noun class. So that's why it's a. Uh, like in this case, I'm talking of a book, Kitab, KV. You put CH. Yeah. Wa can go with the person, can go with the trees, can go with the, uh, all that. Mm -hmm. Anything else we missed yeah. uh, in your uh, insha? We said it's called insha, right? Essay. Essay, insha. Uh. Maybe you can read for us again for the last time. We listen again. Now maybe we have any the new words. See. So, so um, uh, Hamajambo, um, Jinalangu Nikeni, Nina Toka Japan, Nina Muri wa Miaka, Terathini, Natano, Nina Familia, Ya Watoto, Wane, Baba, Mama, Na Kaka, Yang, Mkuba. Baba Yang ana umuri wa miaka sitini na saba. Wakati mama Yang ana umuri wa miaka sitini na tatu. Ndugu Yang ana umuri wa, wa miaka miwili kuliko mimi. Ninapenda kucheza Mpila wa igu na kutazama filame. Sipendi kucheza tenisi na kuishi katika mji. Ah, oh, and he also said, upendi kucheza mpila wa tenis tenis ball. And and uh, to stay uh, to live in the city or town. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Una penda kuishi kijiji. Una penda kuishi kuishi what? Kijiji ni. Kijiji ni. Hmm. What does it mean? Kijiji ni. Village. Ah, deal. Mm. Also, I only lived two years in my life in a village. Ah, only? Mm. Only two years. I grew up, grown up in Tokyo, born and raised. And uh, I've studied in London and uh, currently in Nairobi. But I, I lived in two years in the village in Uganda. So that's the only time. When I had a chance to live in the village. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Village life can be sweet. I agree with you. Um, it's a good retirement plan staying in the village. How about now? Where were Jay Laura? 
village experience kijiji mm, no me nishi na msitu ah msitu the forest dio tatu Use a year. Miaka. Miaka. Miaka tatu. Miaka tatu. Miaka ne. Oh. Mm, I guess. But um, is also like a village. Anyway, but uh, I think. Two uh, good camps. They were camps in the forest. Not. They were camps. Years. Not not live like place people are living. Uh, yeah, no. well, researchers, but not, you know, 15 people, 20 people, a lot more. Mm. Nice. You were in the process of making a village. Uh, oh. Well, I should never get to that far, but. <laughs> I, think, I think that is how village started. People moved out away from many people, started somewhere and then camped. And they stayed. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I still have a touch. J Kati ya Mji na City. Ulipenda nini? J Ulipenda Msitu Ama Mji. Well. Uh Eh, sasa nina penda Nairobi. Eh, I'm fine here. I don't know. That. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I'm glad you also got the question. Nice. Uh, so um, I'm seeing our time is almost like kicking. There's a document which I've shared with you. Now the next, when we come in, we'll do time. There's something I've shared with you for time. Just do the time part. Don't do, uh, that is page one, I think. Let me check. Yeah, just page one. Okay. Since you have not yet done the year, uh, months and days of the week, Let's just do, let us stick on the time and then now we come, we do, to we answer them and then, yeah, we see, I give you the descending part. Sawa, Kenny? Yes, sawa, sawa. Okay, so give yourself two minutes break and then you do your work in five minutes and then we log in. We, we go together. Okay, which 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 part? Uh, like all yeah, of them. The only page three. one. Page one. Hmm? One just page, three. but a uh, 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 just just one. Hmm? The three first questions. Page. Question yeah, one, question two, question. question three. Yes. Ah, okay. Mm, just that. Don't. Oh, don't. Hmm. All right. Okay. Don't worry. Don't look up. Please, uh, just try to you know. Just try to see how far you can answer. No problem. Nobody is going to punish you for not answering or not remembering. Just a way of just seeing how, what you grasp in the other class. So. Okay. That was all. 